When I first heard about the ghost rapes, um, as they were being referred to, in Bolivia, uh, in the Manitoba colony in Bolivia, I, um, I was horrified, like everybody else, and I knew that, uh, that I wanted to write something about that. Faber is my uh, UK publisher and a fellow there named Walter Donahue, um, who works there. He is uh, friends with uh, Frances McDormand, and he had given her a copy of Women Talking, the book, and um, and that's when she, you know, started getting interested in in uh, optioning it, in you know, in making a movie. She's such a an honest, fearless um, writer, filmmaker, and um, so she had, and she, you know, she she could really, um, uh, she was sensitive to the to the trauma uh, that the women in in the book and you know in the movie experienced. Um, she wanted to um, mm, represent these women and, and tell this story, you know, in, in a way uh, that was um, authentic, uh, in a way that uh, honored these women and, and, and their faith. The women in, the, in this uh, isolated Mennonite colony um, have 48 hours, basically. The men have left. The men have left the community. They've gone to the city to, you know, in an attempt to bail out the, the perpetrators, the rapists. And uh, the women have, uh, they've gotten together to decide what they're going to do, and they have 48 hours. So there's a real sense of urgency, um, fear, and, um, and the stakes are very high, you know, in terms of, in terms of the, the decision that they, that they will ultimately make, whether it's to stay, uh, and do nothing to fight uh, or, or to leave. You know, the idea of agency, of, of what it would mean in terms of, you know, the women being able to keep their faith but, and also um, contemplate leaving the colony because, of course, you know, um, this is something that Mennonite women, particularly conservative Mennonite women in these colonies, you just don't do. You don't leave um, your husband. You don't leave the colony, um, you know, and it would be considered sinful, and, uh, and the result would be that, you know, these women would be told that they wouldn't be able to enter the gates of heaven, uh, for, for instance. And so, you know, the women are getting together to talk about this and, you know, and, and how they can do these things that they need to do, protect their children, protect themselves, get away from these, uh, the, you know, this act, these acts of violence, uh, and keep their faith at the same time. It was so fascinating watching the actors. Um, I mean, you know, it's just seeing how hard they work. This incredible cast. Um, some of the some of the the shots, for instance, you know, were long, long takes. You know, where there was a lot of dialogue, of course, women talking uh, in in the loft, and um, you know, and and uh, they would do it. And of course, this is how it works. But seeing it firsthand was was you know so so interesting. But you know, over and over and over and over. And um, the commitment to to this story and to and to Sarah, and you know just the the, the work involved, um, you know, it was amazing. It was incredible. It was something that was just uh, so so exciting to see. It was, and, and again, I say, you know, it was it was just so moving. Thinking of basically these characters that I created that you know. Cut, come to life in a sense and 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 they were so believable and you know they were right there and and uh, it was very moving it's beautiful um the cinematography it's is is, is stunning the the colors you know that that um really dictate the 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 tone the feel that of of urgency of fear of but also of of solidarity, of um, of hope, and and um, it, it was just it was just a profoundly moving experience. Seeing again, seeing these characters that you know had for the longest time existed um, on the on the page uh, come to life.